cannot allow atrocities like that. And we'll be making some major decisions over the next 24 to 48 hours. Donald Trump is promising a tough response to the suspected chemical attack in Syria. Nothing's off the table. Nothing's off the table. There are a handful of options, but each has its drawbacks. As President Trump clearly stated, there will be a price to pay. One, the diplomatic route. We must not overlook Russia and Iran's roles in enabling the Assad regime's murderous destruction. Trump could explore sanctions on not only Syria, but also on its allies, Russia and Iran. We have reached the moment when the world must see justice done. And his team at the UN has been trying to revive an international panel to investigate chemical attacks. Our military specialists have visited this place. They did not find any trace of chlorine or any other chemical substance used against civilians. But Russia is blocking that move with a counterproposal. It doesn't want the panel to be able to assign blame. He may, yeah, he may. And uh, if he does, it's going to be very tough, very tough. And even when investigators concluded that the Syrian regime had conducted previous chemical attacks, the Security Council was too divided to do anything about it. Option two, a limited strike. We are studying that situation extremely closely. We are meeting with our military and everybody else. Almost exactly a year ago, the U.S. fired cruise missiles at the Shayrat Air Base, from which it said Syrian warplanes had launched a chemical weapons attack. It was a show of force designed to send a message. Cut it out, or we'll come back with something bigger. But 12 months later, that message doesn't seem to have been received. So why would it work now? Option three, something bigger. The president could authorize a broader attack aimed at taking out or at least decreasing the capacity of Syria's air force to deploy chemical weapons. Because as you know, they're claiming they didn't make the attack. If it's Russia, if it's Syria, if it's Iran, if it's all of them together, we'll figure it out. But that's complicated because Russia's military supports President Assad. So the U.S. runs the risk of sparking a wider confrontation. And we'll also be discussing with our allies what action is necessary. And then there's the question of a coalition. France and Britain have called for a strong, joint, robust response. But how far are they willing to go? And how much does it matter to a U.S. president who's time and time again said he's willing to act alone? You don't see Things like that, as bad as the news is around the world, you just don't see those images. But here's the bigger picture. A strike is not a strategy, and the U.S. really has to sort out its long-term policy in Syria. Just days ago, the president called for a quick exit, now that the Islamic State group has nearly been defeated there. So we'll be coming out of Syria, like, very soon. Let the other people take care of it now. So the question now is, how will Trump balance his desire to pull out of Syria when his options could draw the U.S. further in?